be on the YouTube video. So for today's video, it's gonna be a hair extension tutorial or just like a hair tutorial. Just basically a tutorial of how I do my hair with my extensions. I do have naturally curly hair, but recently um, I've been doing it and I never used to do my hair. So it has gotten just very flat. Um, I just did brush it as well. So um, it's not, you know, at its peak, but it's gonna look very, very cute once we are done with the video. I do have a photo shoot in a little bit, so I do have to hurry. But yeah, a lot of you guys were asking for this tutorial and I thought I'd share just because. And so yeah, here's the before. Before we start, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Comment in the live chat if you have straight hair, curly hair, or wavy hair, or puffy hair, you know? All different hairstyles, I really wanna know. Let's get into the video. So for my hair extensions, I've never really owned um, clip-ins. I used to have a halo that I actually wore a lot last year and I actually wore it too much. Um, I was straightening my hair way too much and just really damaged my hair. Um, it also was giving me like a little tiny, I don't know. I don't know if I was imagining it, but I felt like it was giving me like a little bald spot from wearing it so much. So I did just stop wearing extensions. And then I recently got these clip-ins from Doors Hair Extensions. I'll put their ad right here. So yes, a lot of people do ask me where I get my hair extensions. This is where I, I got them. Um, I do really like these. I haven't had any problems and they're super easy to put in. So I'm gonna be showing you how to. So for these, it actually does come with two two clips, two one clips, two three clips, and one four clip. You're gonna also need a brush, um, a comb if you wanna you know, fix your part. I think mine's mm, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna even do it. A liga or a scrunchie, doesn't really matter. Um, I also go ahead and use these clips that I got from like CVS or something. And last but not least, you're gonna need a crimper. I got this one from Target. Um, this is just the one that like everyone has. It's like the cheapy one. Okay, so yes, you're gonna wanna go ahead and plug it in and brush out your hair. I just did that. So first step, y'all, first step is you're going to want to part your hair pretty low. I part it like right above my ears and my nails really helps out with parting my hair. Um, but yeah, I have this mirror in the back. I know it's kind of dark, but I don't know. Maybe you can kind of see. And then just really try to get all of it up and not have any like little pieces in there. And then just tie that with your liga. If it's not the best, it doesn't really matter. Like it really doesn't matter, I promise. I do start with the four clip, and these are like still crimped from the last time I wore them, so I'm gonna just go ahead and brush it out starting from the bottom. Um, <laughs> just like so, now that it's, you know, pretty nice, I'm gonna go in with this heat protectant sheen, and I'm gonna just get the, oh. This is brand new, so. I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna go ahead with a little bit. A little does go a long way. And put that on every, you know, thing that I have out that is about to get. Now I'm gonna unclip each one and I'm just gonna grab it like this, put it in the back of my head and clip it. I'll go, I'm gonna turn backwards so that way you guys can see, but I really don't even look, I just do it. Okay, it's about to be hot, I'm gonna open it. Um, wanna make sure that it's at the highest, like, you know, it's get at the highest. And we're just gonna wait for that to heat up. Okay, I think it's pretty heated up. I use a crimper because I don't know how to curl my hair and it's just, you know, easier. And I feel like it looks cute. Um, but yeah, you just crimp it and then you really like, when I keep going, I kind of do this just to like define the little crimps that I'm making. But I really just, go at it and I just keep going. And there's one, purr. It is really easy actually. It's just really time consuming. Super bouncy. It's just like so. And try not to burn yourself because it does turn into scars, y'all. I burn myself so many times on my neck and it's so bad. So this is this side. See, you know, it's more blended, way more curly than this side. It's more puffy. So I'm gonna do this side on time lapse. I You're right here. You know, you just finished that one, and you're gonna go, and it's literally gonna like guide you right to where you need to 
clamp it again, like you're done, you just slide over and then it's like right there. And that's where you clamp it again. You know, so that way they're all even. One hour later. I went ahead and I took off my hoodie just so that way you guys are able to see the progress. So here's how this part looks. Here's the back. You know, very cute, very, you know, very it. So then you take this blob down, shake it out, and you're just gonna cut it again. I cut it like maybe at the bottom of my eyebrows. Go all the way around. Bring all of this up, tie it with a liga. It's a very much a repetitive process. And you guessed it, you're gonna pull it to the front. Now we're gonna go in with the two three clips. Let me brush them real quick. Make sure you're starting from the bottom because you do not want to the extensions. Unclip them and then these ones I put towards the back on the side, I'll show you. And if it feels like it's slipping, literally just keep doing it until it feels like it's not slipping. So there's that side. Brush out the other three clip, and then place it on the corresponding side. See how they like curl the loop that you just made just like falls and then it's like clamp. Let it fall and clamp. Be super careful not to bring yourself. It is not fun. In order for it to look like most natural, you wanna like make sure you're getting like super close to your scalp. Please do not burn yourself. I can't say it enough. It's not fun, I promise you. But yeah, you just wanna like make the first loop pretty close to the scalp. See how that's like, looks like it's coming out of my scalp, like that loop. And that's really what blends everything together and just makes it look a lot fuller to like that little bump. Cause all of the rest of the hair is gonna sit on that. So it's just gonna keep building up and getting fuller and fuller and fuller and it is pretty easy to like pick out what you haven't done yet like see all of this I have very clearly you know done and then this is more like you know it's not defined so this is how I like make the parts I get all of the stuff that I haven't done and then I like just run my fingers through it and that gives me like a part but see that's way too chunky like there's a lot that I haven't done yet so we're gonna take this little tiny piece and see how it has some natural hair with the extension. And that's like a perfect mix, right? Okay, so we are onto the last one for this side. And even for this one, like it's still pretty um, thick. So I am gonna turn this into two, just by going in the middle. Anyway, this is the part where I start to get annoyed because I realize I have to do this whole side and then I have to do all of this. And my back hurts and I'm tired and I'm annoyed. And yeah, it's just, time consuming because you have to do both sides and then you have to do them more and then you know. <laughs> but let's just pick up what we haven't done okay so it looks like this is what we haven't done let's start with the front see i try to get super close as close as possible it's not too bad but i'm already impatient so we might do bigger chunks who knows time lapse starts now Three hours later. Okay, just finished with both sides. This is it from the back. Very cute, looking pretty good so far. So now that we're at this point, um, we're gonna take some of this gel. Not too much, literally just give it a little bit. And then just, and then just scrunch it. Like, just to hold it. Um, I don't use a lot, obviously, because it's extensions. Now that we're right here, we're gonna do it again. Take this down, shake it out, and part it. So last part that we did was right under the eyebrows. Now we're probably gonna do like right here at the arch. Next, we're going in with the two, two clips. It also has different lengths. I think I got like the longest length. Um, so for the two, two clips, I kind of put more towards the back. You can see like it's like right here. Again with the front and working our way back. And you really just want to get rid of all of this frizzy. So this is what we need to do. <sighs> As you guys can tell, I'm getting very, very tired of it. It's not the funnest process, but I really am in love with the outcome and how it turns out. 
so it is something that I do but I am trying not to do it as much and not get so used to it just because it's probably not the best for my hair, you know? Even though I'm not straightening it, I am still putting heat on it. I'm just a little bit stressing because I am almost done, but as you guys know, it takes a while. Um, my ride's on the way. I do have a photo shoot right now. <sighs> and this is just so time consuming. And then filming it obviously is even more time consuming, so. But I really did have to show my besties how it's done. I really did. Cause y'all been asking and I will deliver. This comes in so much handy. This is how I look at it to see if anything, you know, just to see if everything's looking right. Um, I hope it's looking right. Cause I don't want to do anymore, but this is how it's looking from the back. We're going to get the same, you know, amount of gel. I think I got a little bit too much, but it's okay. And I just crunch it. Yep. Now let this piece down. And this is the part that needs the most attention because it is the part that's at the top of the head that everyone's gonna see. So all we have left are the two one clips and these ones go right in the front. Let's brush them just like so. And instead of parting, I do just go ahead and lift up my front piece, clip it on, flip it back. Now that we're looking like this, you know, a little crazy, a little bit, we're gonna, you guessed it, part it all to the front again, just like so. And we're gonna start off with the front pieces, doing the exact same thing. <laughs> but these ones actually matter, like, I don't know, I feel like the others you can, you know, kind of just do, but these ones actually kind of matter how they look, because they're right there. And now what you're gonna do is you're really just gonna curl, or you're just gonna crimp the pieces that, um, you know, are like fell on top, which is all your natural hair. And you don't really have to curl it with an extension piece. This one I'm gonna just because it got lifted up with it, but you just curl those and let them lay on top and they'll pretty much blend in. I say curl cause I'm in denial that I don't know how to curl and that I have to, you know, do crimping instead. You really wanna make sure you get all the pieces. I'm going, I'm trying to go so fast. Um, but yeah, it's not good to do this in a rush, but I always do this part in a rush because it, the other parts always take so long. So this is always the part that I'm like rushing because I have to like leave the house. I'm telling y'all this process is just, I need someone to come do this for me. And you do want to really make sure you're getting the ones in the back because those are the ones that are going to be covering up the little clips. I think this side might actually be done. That's really good. Six hours later. Okay, so this is how it's looking. A little crazy, but you know what looks good. So here's the back. Hopefully there's no straight pieces. Um, now we're just going to take a little glob of that hair gel again, rub it together, and we're gonna gel very lightly. Do not push down your hair, but very lightly get all of the flyaways, you know, down, just as is. Get a little bit more and scrunch what you just did. And just overall scrunch, you know, you know the deal. Just get everything looking tidy. Last thing I usually do is I take like a little spoolie and I just, you know, get some gel and get back these baby hairs so that way they're not like looking ugly. Um, but I don't have a spoolie with me so I'm just gonna use this. You know, just hide those, get rid of them, we don't wanna look at them. Just like that. So this is the finished product. That's gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you get a big thumbs up. Comment in the live chat if you guys like my hair like this or if you guys like my hair natural better. Also, I forgot to mention, if you want a makeup tutorial for this look, I just filmed one. Make sure you go check that out right here. Make sure you subscribe and have that bell on. Go watch all my other YouTube videos. Go check out all my other social medias. Bye, guys. Love you.